So as this war rumbles on with Dido, got a couple of votes to have a look at. Let's have a think about this. We're going to do, I think, City Centre. That always seems to be quite a nice one. Uh, although we could actually go for Harbour and see if we can squeeze that through. I don't think it will go through, but it's worth giving it a try. And then duplicates of... Uh, oh god, what is it that we've got? I just can't remember. What was it? Coffee. 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 All right, let's do that. Perfect. I don't think we're going to win either of those, but never mind. City centre, salt. Okay. Well, there you go. It is what it is. Plus one naval sight range for all naval units allows all naval units to move over ocean tiles without the normal requirement. Oh, yes. Oh, you shouldn't have. That is wonderful. Okay, we're getting loads and loads of, uh, of these points now. I do need to actually burn him. But this means I can now move over. That's brilliant. And I'm going to condemn this heretic literally just because I can. There's no other reason for doing that. What's that? You thought you were safe out at sea? <laughs> Don't think so. One, two, three. Here we go. This is the thing. We need to now just like press our advantage as best we can. I've also got like a couple of troops that are sort of half landing here, which is quite cool. I'll let them build a holy site. That's actually not a problem at all. Um, just trying to think of where else to move my units. I've got loads and loads of boats, which is a good thing. Move you to there, you to there, and then I can go one, two, and then maybe swap this guy out. I probably didn't, oh no, he's, he's done something. Let's go to there. Lovely, that's another boat sunk. I think I'll just burn this down for some gold. Nom. I need to start getting in lighthouses now. I need the traders, and I also need the sort of extra food and the gold and everything like that. So yeah, lighthouses are gonna be a good thing to do. Oh, thank you for bringing your galley in range of all my defenses. It's very kind of you. God, they're so considerate, Mongolia, really, when everyone thinks they're just really, really cruel and, and like war-rearing. But nah, they, they're lovely, really. Oh, a knight in the sea. Oh, you shouldn't have. It's just three experience for me. My hope is that Dido doesn't get any walls. If I can avoid her getting walls, all of this is made a lot easier. Preparatory fire? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? This is all good. Yeah, you can see that my navy is having an absolute whale of a time just smacking into all of Dido's units who are very kindly for us. Just sat here, like in the middle of the sea, as you do. Oh! A settler. That's very nice. Please stop throwing your units in the sea. Actually, to be fair, don't don't stop doing it. It's actually quite fun, but pretty handy. I think they're going after Lisbon because they've decided that a war with Lisbon in the middle of all this carnage is definitely the best thing to be doing right now. Absolutely the best thing to be doing. Now, come on, like get out of my freaking dockyard. That's so annoying. These tiny galleys are not going to do anything against me. And this settler, yoink, thank you very much. Okay, actually, we can probably have a look and see what continents there are. Oh, look, Pangaea is a new continent. We'll settle on this and we'll get ourselves a new melee unit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please just die. I don't like fighting you. Oh, okay, right, trade routes. We've got to think about these, actually. Um, let's just double check how much we've got in Bolognia compared to Egypt. Oh, we're still on six, that's fine. So Babylon's pretty good. We'll save our, our other envoys for Zanzibar. We managed to pick up Preslav as well, which is quite cool. In Lisbon? Is Lisbon worth doing? I don't really have any military and I get the feeling that they'll die pretty quickly. So maybe I could send a couple more to Babylon. Hmm, to Vilnius. No, actually, it's a good question. I mean, Elizabeth, let's give it a try. Let's just try. That's uh, worth two envoys for me. So we've got a lot of uh, traders to come, so we should be able to send quite a few out. One, two, three. Is that it, Dad? Oh, come on. So close. So close. Okay, we're just keeping as many of our units alive as we can. Look at this. We've even got the... the I, I don't want to say, like... We haven't siege side on, but we've definitely got some interest there now, which is cool. Luckily for me, at the moment, all these ships, nothing's actually taken out any of my dockyards. They seem to be playing a really stupid game, Mongolia. There we go. 
That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Pretty good, Quadroom. Oh yeah, you just give yourself a line of battle. He's actually doing a great job just killing all of Mongolia's units who are just trying to navally insult this city, which is just silly. I'm not entirely sure why they're doing that, but sure. So here's an Admiral that gives me a free trader. That would be more money. I'm just trying to think if it's worth it or whether I want to wait for one that gives me a fleet or an armada or a battle, an ironclad or something like that. Hmm. I think I'll pass. I will pass. And I'm going to see if I can pick up one that's really good. There we go. Look, instantly creates an ironclad. That is what I want. He is the best. Okay, so um, Dido now has uh, caravels. That is a recent introduction that I don't like. So we're going to... Oh, 54, they know it as well. They know it. Okay, peace is going to be tricky with both of these. We might have to pull into a bit of a defensive war here at the moment because once these caravels appear, we're going to really, really struggle... Although, my ally, I mean, look, come on, you need to get into this war. Join ongoing war, emergency war. Yes. Okay, use your Corsairs, my friend. I need them involved in this fight. Everything else, I just need to pull back. Just for a little bit. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to keep it. There's apprenticeship, which means I've just seen astronomy has just been unlocked. Oh, that's such an annoying one. Build a university next to a mountain. I don't have any mountains. No, no mount. Oh, there's a mountain here, I guess. Ugh. I get one, one mountain in a city state. Joy, joy is me. All right. This war's not going very well at the moment. Come on, Suleiman. I don't need this right now. I need you back into that military alliance. Thanking you. Okay. I need you to be on side for me, especially because, yeah, look, this military alliance does help. But oh, Caravel. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. We need to just surround, isolate as best we can. Hang on, where are all of my ranged ships? We've got one, two, three, four movement. That's good. We can get you to there. I need you into one, two, three, four. I need you, one, two, three. Okay, you can't move as far. I've got a galley that I can position there just to block off the exit. Okay, so this caravel is now isolated. I can get a few hits on just to weaken it down a bit. Uh, and then that galley actually is pretty strong. So we can do that. Okay, this is this is okay. This is okay. Let's get an industrial zone done. Really need to get these industrial zones out. Just increase, just give me any production. Any production at all will do. Uh, in fact, actually, who's using that tile? Somebody is using that tile, but that's okay. We're just going to have to do it. Let's get the industrial zone there as well. Um, okay, yes, it's fine. This is fine. Production. Production's all I need. Oh, it worked. It worked. We isolated them, surrounded them. They couldn't escape. This is brilliant. A normal age again. Oh, for God's sake. Give me just anything that's not a normal age. That'd be lovely. Thank you. All right. Round two of attacks. We've got a lot of quadrooms. Oh, here we go. This is good. Rolling barrage. Actually, that's pretty good. I could do some pretty decent city attacks with that guy now. Awesome. Uh, you in. You as well. You are. Okay, preparatory fire. That's pretty good. Uh, in we go. Oh, that is a good kill. That is a good scalp for my navy. Ritual. Allows you to construct the gilded vault. We will do that. I need to get some commercial hubs. I'm building one somewhere, I think. Uh, Lisbon, I've got a load of routes to there now, which is pretty cool. Okay, four envoys. Nice. We're getting there. Actually, 45 strength against Sidon. It's not bad. Just hit that a couple of times, it'll be okay. Bologna just nicked back all of its swordsmen, and that's kind of fair and fine, I think. That's not a problem. Oh, look, Zanzibar just took back all its units from uh, Mongolia as well. Oh, they've done exactly the same thing. Cheeky buggers. I thought that was just my trick. Never mind. Okay, that's good though. We've protected Bologna. I was worried we'd lose that uh, as a genuine city-state. How's my continents looking? Now, yeah, this island is it's still my continent. That's really annoying. I kind of wanted this Pangaea one over here uh, just to get the melee unit. Yeah, I'm going to have to risk it. Oh, Mongolia's cavalry are here. Oh dear. Okay, we need to be careful about this defense. We can defend it. I'm pretty sure we can defend it. We just need to make sure that we've got the right quadrarians back. So like this guy is a really good one. Let's just take out the melee units because those guys are going to be the ones that will 
do the damage to me. Um, the galleys, I'm sending all of my navy over because we're going to just... Um, this guy's really annoying Sidon, keeping the, the knight in that city. But all of these guys, are gonna just, we're going to see if we can steal a couple of Carthaginian cities. We've got a, a few cities that have got enough uh, slots open to them on the coast. I could, in theory, um, get a load of boats around. So that's what I'm kind of hoping. Oh, they killed my crossbow. How mean of them. And, and they also have a, a, a vampire coming. That's, that's, that's not so good news. That's not good news at all. Right. Uh, let's just focus on the attack, see if we can get some actual kills here. No, we can't. Oh, there's a lot of units back here now. Oh, oh, I hate that. Okay, so it's all it's all going off now. I had just had a lovely quadrium just sat here and they spawned a caravel and killed it in one hit. One hit? Like, come on. Ah. Also, this vampire, have you seen how strong he is? 69 nice but he's got so much strength and he's just tearing the city wall down just by himself he doesn't even need battering rams quite frankly he's terrifyingly powerful we really need peace we really really need peace but unfortunately this military emergency is five turns away is there anything we can do anything i can do yes actually there is if i increase the city strength uh, a little bit which is possible because I have unlocked stronger units uh, so I've got the swords the swordsman would help I can't get a swordsman immediately because I haven't got 20 iron but I'm sure my ally does no he doesn't have it what about Brazil have you got it nope okay nobody's got iron uh, you do lovely I need Persia would have it okay right what would it take uh, that's a, quite a lot would you take some favor instead I'll trade you a diplomatic there, there we go. So that's good. I can now get in the swordsman. 39 strength. Okay, it's not much. It's not much of a difference, but at least is a slight difference. Um, does it make a difference? No, it doesn't matter if I bring him out of the city. Let's just kill the horseman quickly, like so. Yeah, this, this vampire is super strong. I need to take this vampire out and he's proving almost impossible because of the ridiculous strength he's got. Major defeat, but actually that might be a victory. Yes, I knocked him back. Oh, thank God. Right, city heal yourself. Oh, I need, to, I need to be able to fix that wall rapidly. Gonna have to see if I can switch to getting a bit more science in uh, and fighting back. Natural philosophy, that's good. Uh, what else are we going to do? I quite like having the Builder Charge upgrade. Serfdom, that's a good one. Maritime Industry still works well. First of all, no, we need the plus two. Good. Okay, you can see, look, Mongolia are still trying to... <laughs> they're doing their best to sort of make their way across the sea. It seems very pointless to me because I'm just navally invading and attacking them repeatedly. Getting a very strong navy on that side. This side, however, not so good. There's a catapult there now. We, we, we're not gonna, we're gonna ignore that one. The catapult we're ignoring. Um, we're actually getting somewhere with this city there, which is quite fun. Um, I don't want to bring my units any closer to Byblos. I kind of, I just need peace on this war. Everyone is just too strong for me at the moment. There's Sea Dog though. I was waiting for that. Oh, I need a better navy and a great merchant. It's not gonna happen. There's no chance in hell I'm gonna get that. Oh, the Ironclad couldn't come soon enough as well. That, you know, like we're, we're going to get out of this. We, we've just got to survive this little patch, this tough patch, whatever you want to call it. But if we can, we will get through it. Let's get the library in. I just need as much science in as I can. Oh, monuments. Quite frankly, why I haven't got monuments in some of these buildings already, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's the caravel. You know, you just you lost track of it. It appears again. God damn it, it's powerful. Oh, Persia want to be my friends now. Yes, you know what? I will take any friends. Any friends I can get. Come on, give me an alliance. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is good. This is good. One turn. One turn on this emergency. God, this can't come quickly enough. Oh, the ironclad. Okay, right. This is exciting. So if I were to purchase you, that gives me the coal. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, now this is the thing. 
Okay, you are going to have a lot more attack. 70. 70 naval strength. Yes, I'm just going to try and bash that immediately into Sidon, whilst the galleys attempt quite a, uh, a, a an ambitious encirclement of this caravel. Best bet is that my city now has 60 strength. 60 because of the ironclad. Yes, it's amazing. I might be able to just take it on with the galleys, actually. If I'm good enough, I don't want to waste my ironclad on it. Yeah, the U needs to come back and heal immediately, but the ironclad just steams through, like so. Yeah, Sidon is next. Look, I'm actually, I'm starting to actually hit a couple of these cities now, which is really cool. Ottomans are still basically paying my economy, which is very nice of them. I've actually finally got builders, multi-charge builders that can actually improve some of these tiles for me which is lovely got a couple of builders coming look at they're still doing it look at this oh, it's just too easy there we go there we go military emergency over good right the i want genghis khan to have peace now doesn't want to doesn't want to see what do you mean don't want to seed it come on 70 gold and returning that back okay fine he'll get around to it he will come around pretty soon i think oh, look at that there we go Yes, I finally got the Navy Dockyard going as well, which is lovely. I'll get the Lighthouse going in this city soon. I can make a good old Lighthouse family. Let's uh, do this and then do that. Lovely. Okay, that Caravel is now dead. Where is my Ironclad? Here it is. One, two, three. Seventy strength. Bang. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Dido, you have no idea. Oh, 40 gold per turn. That's interesting. Uh, oh, they've just put walls up inside and all oh, that's so annoying. I literally was just taking that city. Oh, the computer is just like, oh, it's, just, it's just trolling me this game. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, at least we can take this city. So that's one city done. There's no way I'm gonna hang on to it. 20, minus 20. Her side on really, really was needed. Okay, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to see if I can get an extortionate peace deal out of it. If I were to seed this, so I give this back, return it, how much gold would you give me? 69, nice. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Yes, I know the ironclad could do a little bit more damage, but we're still at war with the Mongolians. And really, it doesn't, caravels don't even matter at this point. I need, I need frigates. Frigates are what I need. <laughs> this war is very repetitive. Oh dear. I think it's been about 30 turns of this like identical war. But we have hold we've held the city. That's good. Oh, I tell you what I was gonna do. I was gonna see if the Ottomans wanted all of my <laughs> favour. Come on, what would you give me for that? Oh, a lot. Bones of the Magi. Don't actually need that at all. Uh, and, and I swear, I mean, I don't need to give you quite that much. Do I really? I mean, I guess it's some upfront gold. There we go. I'll keep some of it for myself. Lovely. Oh, that's a good amount of gold per turn, that. Oh, look. There we go. Peace. They're giving me peace. You know what? In the interest of just getting my economy rolling again, I'm getting like 300 gold per turn now, so that's pretty good. But in the interest of getting my economy whirring and catching up a little bit in terms of tech, I quite like that idea. Okay, this is good. Now, Bologna, you better leave Bologna alone. I'm watching you. Watching you. Okay, so, uh, shipyards I really do need. They're square rigging, actually. They're square rigging. That's even better. Kill a unit with a musketman. Let's get the aqueducts going. Let's see if we can get some nitre in. And we'll see what sort of issue we've got going from that point onwards. Just, we are getting some infrastructure in now, which is a nice thing. Here's a workshop in my capital. That's pretty cool. Let's get an 18 gold route, Lisbon route in. We'll do that as well so that you can see I've already got six envoys. Now that's seven. Lisbon is mine. Okay, that means my ships are now immune to being plundered, which is quite fun. Here we go. It's the sea dog. It's not going to solve my issues, but it'll make them... A little bit easier to deal with. There's 11 turns to build that afterwards. Ugh, you know what? It's worth it. How much to buy one of these things? A thousand gold. Oh, that's expensive. All right. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just this settler. I'm just looking for anything that counts. 
you see, look, this is all Camorland. Like, it's all annoyingly part of my own... Em oh, really annoying. What about this? Yep. Oh, no, that is a new continent. Oh, nice. Okay, I can settle down here. And then I can get another trade route going. That sounds pretty good to me. That was Mercantilism, which is a pretty good one. I'm looking for other governments. Are they going to be here? Where am I? Where are the other governments? I, I didn't realise Divine Right was medieval era and the rest were a renaissance. I mean, it does make sense. It does ring a bell as soon as I've seen it, but weird that one. Harbour, Campus, Serfdom. I think that is actually a good thing, but I don't need that anymore. Should we go for Veterancy, Encampment, Harbour Districts, Buildings for those? Hmm. Don't know if that will actually do anything. Or Conscription. I think Conscription, because I've actually got quite a big army bill at the moment. Let's do that instead. Yeah, that saves me about 20 gold per turn. It's pretty good. Okay, so the Ottomans have Islam and they have all of the points. So we're going to vote for Islam because that's clearly going to win. And then I like the idea of me causing zero grievances. So we're just going to do that. See if that goes through. Nope, that doesn't go through. I and mean, is it double? No, Wilhelmina double. And Catholicism. Ah, oh, the Ottomans didn't really bother voting at all. As you do. It's military engineering. I think I have one source of nitre. Oh, I do. I just literally used my last builder charge right next door to that one. All right, I'll just get another builder in. Okay, that's good. That means we're going to get a load of nitre in, and that means we can afford to be line for square rigging. Frigates are going to be my way out of this hole, this mess that we find ourselves in. Grants one free copy of a luxury resource. You know what, actually, he's going to be the first one I actually just keep as an actual great uh, admiral. I'll just get you to go and stick on the ironclad. Where do I need the envoys with now? Can I actually afford to send one all the way up north to uh, Zanzibar? I can't. I haven't yet found the route. That's okay. We don't mind that particularly. Uh, where else am I going? Where, where can I go? Blognia? Blognia? I mean, that's... Well, is it useful one? Babylon, I guess, is quite useful as well. Hmm, I just feel like the city-states are definitely the ones to do. Singapore, I really could use a route with as well. Where are they? Uh, I did see them. They're down there, but they, I can't actually trade with them yet. All right, let's instead, let's just stick to Lisbon for now. That's a good gold route, that. Um, Persia. That's, that's not really on, is it? <laughs> I mean... Oi! Ugh, oh, rude. It's the sea dog. Oh yeah. This is a good piece of kit, this. I love it. Love it. Okay, the quadrimes are not going to upgrade to it. That's that's understandable. But now that we've got this, we can afford to get a couple of them, actually. I'm tempted to go back to war with Dido soon. Soon. And these... These sea dogs will make it a little bit easier. They're not going to make it, like, super easy, but definitely easier. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll treat myself to two. And then after that point, we will wait and then we'll save our gold for the frigate upgrades. This looks like a ridiculous saddle, but I finally managed to get somewhere. Somewhere on this, like, godforsaken continent down here. Bradford, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, right, just... just Stay, stay here for a bit. Um, get, get me a navy dockyard. Yeah, why not? That's a lovely plus four. Gorgeous. And another trade route for me. Wonder construction is on the way. Oh, that's really handy. Uh, forms an armada out of a military naval unit. Oh yes, Santa Cruz. This is, this is what I need. An armada. Okay. What do I want to make that out of? I can make it out of the ironclad. That could be quite good. Or a sea dog. Or a frigate. I'll make it out of the ironclad, I think, because then I've got a bit of a, a bit of a sledgehammer if I need it. Here we go. Let's form the armada. Oh yes, that thing is strong now. Okay, so we'll put you just back to sleep. There's the ironclad. 87 strength now. 87 strength. You know what? I think we've we've got a good we've got a good amount of a uh, policy card. We've got a good enough army. There's construction. I'm just going to quickly plonk in. I surf them. I'll get rid of that for now. We'll go for retinues and we'll go for professional army. That'll make the upgrades to the frigates pretty damn cheap. Do I ever con <laughs> do I ever feel concerned that when I'm building campuses, thinking I'm doing well on science, I realise I'm the only person, the only person in the game below 100 
science per turn. Y yes, yes, it, it does concern me. Just, just a little bit. Just, just a teeny weeny bit. <laughs> oh god. Here we go. Square rigging. I've got 30 nitre. 30 delightful nitre that has been stockpiled in my treasury. I'm going to need 10 of it every time I want to go to a frigate, which is not much, really. The grand scale of things, we can afford these pretty nicely. Look at all this. Look at all these frigates. Oh, we've got three already. We've got a couple of units that are ready to go in a little bit. We've got some galleys that are all just sort of casually and calmly waiting there. I've got an ironclad, which is ready to go, ready to rock. Um, I think... I think we're just about ready to strike and see if we can pull this game back because my god it, it, this, this game has not felt comfortable at any point actually there's the bank oh there's red coats which way have i got to go for that oh this weird weird tree should we go for caravels first and then go for red coats or because i've got the ironclad that's probably enough isn't it i think i'd rather go for red coats because there's 65 strength that's 75 once that gets going yeah uh and then printing is going to help me to at least attempt, at least attempt to catch up on um, everybody in terms of diplomatic visibility because I feel like I'm losing on that as well. I feel like I'm losing on a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, and I don't know how to catch back up, but that's okay. We'll, we'll learn. We'll find a way. What's that? You'll give me five gold per turn to go to war with Genghis Khan. That's, um, that's just a brilliant, a brilliant idea. I love that idea. Actually, I can probably get other people to join in with me. Let's go for this. What would it take? Oh, yes, Persia are all up for joining in. Brazil, I mean, you're the other side of the world. I don't think you're going to be able to do it. Uh, join ongoing war. Defensive pact. Am I, am I at war? Oh, yeah, I am at war with Volumina. Okay. Yeah, sure. Join in with that one. Why not? Let's just see how many people we can throw in. Dido, do you want to join in with this war with Genghis Khan? Yeah, they do. Okay, well there you go. So Genghis, unfortunately for you, you you you've been sort of picked on a little bit here, and I've got sea dogs now, and these things can actually do damage against city walls, which makes a difference. Um, so we're just going to get our ships in. My ironclad armada would do so much damage. But I'm just going to wait until the wall is a little bit further down for now. Even my frigates. There's just no need to rush. I'm just going to sit here and just casually shooting away at this encampment, levelling myself up. Why Why have I never thought like this before? Just calm, collected. It's a, it's a lovely place to be. Oh, and um, just to make it even better, my alliance has just stepped up a level and suddenly I've met the Ottomans and all that they can see. Oh, look at this. Look at all these boats trapped. Trapped old boats. <laughs> They've got a nice little island. Actually, Dido's done really well at settling in random places. When we take over all their cities, that'll be quite helpful. Persia are kind of a bit of everywhere. Brazil are doing pretty well, actually, and Egypt are kind of a bit everywhere. It's, it's a very string-like map, this one. I'm enjoying it. Like, it's it's very different, and different is, different is cool. Let's just pillage some more gold, and then keep on shooting. Look at all these promotions. Okay, next turn I'll be able to replace that round and steal their capital. Gah. At one point, this felt like quite a difficult war. Not so much every, not so much anymore. Hang on, nitre. Nitre is my, my issue here. Who wants to give me some nitre? Brazil, you can give me some nitre. Why don't you give me... I need about 34 because that's what I need to upgrade all of my troops. So let's give you one of these. Uh, give you one of these. And then I will say give you some political power yeah look at that easy done so now i can use bolognia to just upgrade these guys to frigates that's a nice couple of upgrades we've got a load more troops over here and then we'll get this guy to come along and boop into a frigate as well lovely this game is just curse curse of the normal eras and annoyingly genghis has now gone into a golden age so he's going to find it really really easy to keep hold of all of his cities but that's okay because my frigates oh yeah these guys have a bit of power to them okay so we've got the double pronged attack now my, even my galleys are going to step in and have a bit of fun let's just do one attack two attacks and then oh, look at that the ironclad just steams straight in boom <laughs> oh dear 
Uh, to arms. Let's get to arms. I'm gonna kill some stuff. Yeah, keep city. Rebellion in four turns. Four turns? I don't think so. I don't think so. We're gonna take over more cities before they can uh, take it back. Major city damage. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. In comes the galley. And there's another city taken for me there. Rebellion in three turns. Three? Dear, oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> golden age fighting, eh? When the opponents are in a golden age and you're not. It's just the most fun you could possibly have. Oh, luckily, I can only actually hit this city from one direction as well. Because of the way the cliffs are. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. No, 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 no. We don't like military emergencies. Stop it. Stop it. Don't even think about it. Oh, thank God I put all six in. Dido and Genghis Khan. It would have been Dido. Of course it would have been Dido. Ugh, it's always Dido. Right. Keep on firing. There's flipping vampires everywhere. Everywhere. But that's okay. Um, attack there. Attack here. Okay, right. Even my frigates are starting to just not do any damage now, um, which is a little bit of a shame. But that's okay, because Zanzibar, actually, we can chuck some units from there now, because I'm... Oh, forget, I keep stealing all of these people. Isn't this wonderful? Let's go for an economic alliance with you. Let's go back to the Ottomans, who is always a good deal to be done. Uh, chuck this at you. What would you give me for that? I kind of need a hundred and something gold up front, please, because I've got a devious plan. Uh, yep, that'll do. Uh, how much for Zanzibar? Oh, I need another 30 gold. How annoying is that? Right, do you need coffee? He does, right. Give me 40 gold? Is that going to be enough? Yes. Perfect, right. Now, Zanzibar. Uh, influenced by. Good. Levy. Uh, look at that. We've levied it. Gets us golden age points. We've got pikemen. We've got crossbows. We've got all kinds of fun things. Don't normally do this, but you can see that I'm a bit desperate. Just switching to plus two loyalty per turn for cities with garrisoned unit, and then governors provide plus two. Now, can we just stop this? Okay, that's another five turns on that one now. That's pretty much stable. That's pretty much stable. Okay. Okay, 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 good. This city is finally starting to fall down a little bit. You can see we've got a vampire problem over in that way, which is which is not not so not so great, but that's um so that's, I mean, what are you going to do? One, two, three. Ugh. Ugh. Too many units. Too many things everywhere. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton for all of the help you give on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes and subscribes to the video. Cheers. You help keep me going.